you guys did a good job of drawing your two-dimensional shapes. We have not been talking about two-dimensional shapes. However, we um, have to put together two-dimensional shapes in order to make our three-dimensional shapes. How is a three-dimensional shape different from a two-dimensional shape? Because a two-dimensional or three-dimensional shape is one that like that you can actually hold in your hand, and thus, and a two-dimensional one would be like more like paper. Like okay, paper. very good. So a two-dimensional shape is flat, and a three-dimensional shape kind of pops out, and it's easier to hold. So Lee places a cone on a piece of paper and draws around its flat surface. So which part is the flat surface of a cone? Point to the flat surface of the cone. Would you guys agree? He yeah. pointed to this right here. Yeah. Okay. He is right. This is the flat surface of the cone. So if he drew only the flat surface of the cone, he set it on his paper like this, and he traced around the flat surface, what shape would he draw? <clears throat> she says a circle. Would you guys agree? Yes. yes. She is exactly right. Because if you look at the bottom, there is a sure. circle. So if I were going to get some papers to make a cone, to build a cone, I would have to have a circle in order to be able to finish my cone, in order to make that. You would have to curl right? the rest around and, then and curl the rest so around. You're exactly right. So how many flat surfaces does a cone have? How many flat surfaces does a cone have? Are there any other flat surfaces on here? So how many flat surfaces does the cone have? One. It's just the bottom one. Remember, if we tipped it over on its side and moved it, it would roll. If I put it on the flat surface and tipped it, it won't roll. Okay? What other kind of surface does a cone have? It has a flat surface, but what is the other surface called? A curved surface. You are exactly right. So, what we are going to do today in math is we are going to try to see which shapes make up my three-dimensional shape. So if, um, what shape do I have here? I have a rectangular prism. If I took apart the rectangular prism and I took all of the sides off, how many sides would I have? <coughs> you are exactly right. I would have a tri, or a, tri a rectangle on the back side. I would have a rectangle up top here. I would have a rectangle on the bottom. Can I see the bottom right now in this picture? Mm -hmm. No, but do I know it's there? Yeah. Yes, because I do. Without it, then there would it be six sides. That's right. And then I have a rectangle on the side. On the side. But then on this end and on the other end, I have Square. Squares, and that makes up my um my rectangular prism. So I have to have these six flat shapes to put together to make my three dimensional shape. If I didn't have one of them, then I wouldn't be able to make my three dimensional shape of the rectangular prism. So I need one, two, three, four, um rectangles and two squares to make my two-dimensional shape or my three-dimensional shape. 
okay? So, when I, if I were to pull apart a cube, would I need any triangles? No. Would I need any squares? Yes. Yeah. So what am I going to do? Circle. Circle it. Would I need any rectangles? No. Would I need any circles? No. That is what we're going to do today in math.